Nick O'Callaghan, and tis never nightly news. Tonight we have a story on the recent burning of the St. Joseph Cathedral. Twenty-one good faithful Catholics were killed in the fire. All the honest Catholic authorities suspect a drunken North Ireland Protestant caused the fire. Police arrested all Protestants in the area. We go now to August McFly, who is speaking on the local priest about the incident. How do you think the fire started, Father? Well, it's quite obvious that a Protestant did it. No god fearing the liberal Catholic does its thing. Christ and clergymen might convert them. They cling to their wicked ways. And how do you respond to the allegations that the fire started within the cathedral because of the candles? Ridiculous! Those candles are lit for God and our holy saints. Our holy father would never allow such a thing to happen. For you to say as much as charge them out to blasphemy. You should, you should say three Hail Marys and our Father. Well, there you have it. Back to you in the station, Mary. <coughs> Thanks, August. I'm going to <coughs> turn it over to Kevin O'McBacon because I'm <coughs> dying now of the consumption. Thanks, Mary. Very tragic indeed. The cathedral will be mourned very greatly. Coming up, we'll turn it over to the job opportunities in England. But first, a word from our sponsors. Tired of tea? Sick of lemonade? What's a good Irishman to do? Pop over to your pub and buy a good Guinness original draft. Just ask this satisfied customer. I spit all the dough on the Guinness. I want more! With Guinness, who needs a job? Guinness! Welcome back. With the outbreak of the Second World War, there has been a surge of jobs in London and other English towns. Many previously unused factories have reopened to manufacture much-needed tanks, planes, and other such weaponry. Countless Limerick men have already left by train to try and secure a factory job. We return to August McFly, who's speaking with a member of the St. Vincent de Paul Society. How do you think the <clears throat> increase in jobs will affect the local economy? It doesn't matter. Good Irish would stay in Ireland where he belongs, not go types into godforsaken England to find a cheap job and like some, find a some stupid prostitute girl. Thank you so much. Back to you, Kevin. We've come to the time in our program for our nightly homemaking segment. Off to Patty McGriffin Hesse for our daily cooking tips. <laughs> I'm Tim Griffin Hesse, and I have some special cooking tips to help your poor family prepare a bountiful meal for special occasions. Now for this first tip, you're going to need water and sugar. For sugar water. So take your water like so, and spoon out some sugar. And stir. That way your poor children will enjoy their meals for once. Now, for most major holidays, your family will want something like pork or lamb, but you'll be too poor to afford that. So, ask your butcher for a pig head. They're easier to cook and the eyes are good for you. So, fill a pot with water and insert the pig head. Allow it to cook for about an hour and you'll have a delicious pig head for your family. Be sure to use these tips at your next family occasion. Thank you for tuning in to Limerick McNightly News. I'm Kevin O. McBacon, and God bless the Pope.